All right, guys, welcome to your fourth Ruby tutorial. And in this lesson, I want to talk to you guys about something called classes and objects. But before I get into that, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the world and life. So Ruby loves to treat things as objects. Now, that's nice, but what the heck is an object? Well, forget about computer programming for a second. Just think about the life and think about the world. Everything in the world is an object. Your desk, your mouse, your computer, yourself, the food you eat, the car you drive. Everything is an object. Now, objects have attributes. For example, my car I drive is blue. That's an attribute. It's old. It's smelly. Okay, that's nice. The dog next door is an object. Some attributes about the dog, loud, annoying, and it's named Floyd. So basically everything is an object and everything also has attributes. Now let's go ahead and jump back into computer programming. You can take these real life objects and turn them into computer objects in Ruby. Huh, kind of weird, huh? Well, I know that this is kind of where it separates computer programming from real life, but just remember that objects in real life can be objects on computers. However, in order to make an object on the computer, it must belong to a class. Now a class is pretty much like a blueprint for creating objects. So let me go ahead and show you guys how to create a class real quick. Let's say that we wanted to create that dog object. Remember I talked about that dog uh, about 30 seconds ago? Lives next to me, it's really loud and annoying. Its name is Floyd. Well, let's go ahead and create the object. In, in order to create an object, we first need to create a class. So the first thing we do in order to create a class is write the name class. Now after this, we give it a name. So I'm just gonna go ahead and name this class Animal. Now whenever you create classes in Ruby, make sure to name them with a, a capital letter. Start them with a capital letter. That's what I was trying to say. Now go ahead and hit enter. Now we are making the class. Now what we need to do is we need to set some attributes or qualities that all of these animals are going to have. Now in order to set your attributes, type this ATTR underscore a C C E S S O R. Now this means pretty much your attributes. Now each attribute is going to be a colon with the attribute name. So all animals have a name and in order to separate the attributes just add a comma. So all animals are going to have a name, an age, and just pick something else like a trait like smelly, big, hairy, some random trait. So basically we have a class and the class is called animals and each animal is going to have three traits, a name, an age, and a trait, or excuse me, three attributes. So that's all. We're, this is going to be a very simple class. That's it. So now we're done making our class. In order to tell Ruby we're done making our class, just go ahead and type the word end and hit enter. And it returns nil. And just remember, nil pretty much means okay, you created your class without any errors, everything's good to go. So just remember this I gotta pound this in your brain. A class is pretty much a blueprint for creating objects. Now that we made an animal class, we can now create animal objects such as that Floyd, the dog that lives next to me. And another thing to notice, notice is that you know how the 1, 2, 3 is the line number? The 0 is no longer zero in this lesson. It's one one. The one is the depth. Now I guess I might as well explain this right now. This is pretty much because we're working inside a class. This one is part of something bigger. Basically depth means you're working inside something. Instead of just typing one line of code at a time, this one is part of something else. Pretty much depth means working inside something else. And last but not least, nil, what we get back, pretty much means our class was created without any errors. We didn't mess up at all. All our code was good. We didn't accidentally hit any weird buttons or anything like that. So now we have a class. In the next tutorial, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be creating the first object, the Floyd object, the dumb dog that lives next to me. That's what I'm going to be creating. So for now, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to make your own class with your own attributes. And uh, once you do, you're ready to move on to the next lesson. So like I said, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.